first, let me show you how to send an organizer. The organizer allows practitioners to quickly gather and organize tax information from clients in one simple step. You can send the organizer to your client to complete or fill it out yourself. The tax organizer also allows you to conveniently upload any relevant tax documents to be stored in Canopy. So let's go ahead and initiate an organizer. You're going to do this by going first to a client record. You can do that by clicking on clients, going to the client list, searching for a client, or using a recent client, which I'll do. Then you're going to head over to the tab up at the top that says organizers. Here you'll be able to view any active or completed organizers, but since we haven't started one yet, we're going to click add an organizer. Go ahead and select the applicable tax year. You can choose your client if you would like to do a new client here, you can do so. But since we did this from the client record, it's already going to have Amelia's name in here. Then you're going to select the organizer type. One thing you should know that organizers are only done on four specific forms and cannot be customized or have new ones added. You'll see the forms available right here. So you can select which one you want to use. It will name it for you. You can also change the name here if you would like to. Select any team members you would like assigned to this organizer and then add a due date. Once you're satisfied with what you filled out, you can click Create Organizer. Here you have the option to input any information you would like to, and you'll see that it walks you through each section of the form you're filling out, or you can also send it directly to your client for them to fill out. You also have the option down here to upload any documents, either a new file or an existing file. Let's go ahead and send this. It's going to pop up with your client portal window. You can choose who you would like to send it to. Since Amelia does have a spouse linked in her account, it automatically populates. We could select to include Rory on this as well, and he could also access this in the client portal. We'll go ahead and send it to Amelia. You can choose to have a personalized message right here. And we're going to hit send. One thing to notice is you can always resend this or you can look at the 1040 organizer options or download the form here by clicking on these three dots. Really quickly, let's just look at what this looks like from our client portal. As you can see, the client can open the organizer and it will show them their progress up at the top and they'll go through and add in any information selecting all of the different options here. Once they have completed the entire organizer, they'll be able to submit it and send it back to you where you will be able to view the whole organizer to help you with their tax needs. Another great feature is resolution cases. Creating a resolution case from a client record will let you generate forms, send client surveys, send engagement letters, and complete other functions relating to your client tax resolution case. To create a resolution case, once again, you'll want to be in the client record. Up at the top, you'll click on the tab that says resolution case. If you have any cases that have been initiated, you can see those here. But since we don't, we're going to create a new resolution case either by clicking on the button right here that says create new resolution case or the one right in the middle that says add resolution case. Here you need to start by naming it. You can add a description. Then you'll need to answer, is this resolution case for an individual taxpayer? Either yes or put no if it's a business. 
you can select a due date and then use the toggles off to the side to select which services you'll be offering in this resolution case. Once you have it all filled out, go ahead and click Create Resolution Case. You'll notice there are several different steps and features here, and I'll go over those in a little more detail, but first I want to show you how you can add your own steps to resolution cases. You'll do so by clicking on Templates, and then resolution case. Here you can add a custom service. You'll name the service and put a description and hit create service. Now you have the option to add steps. You can add as many steps as needed and you can also add documents by clicking on the pencil and uploading a work paper here. Let's head back to our resolution case. When we click on it, let's take a look at all of these different steps here. First, I want to go over forms. The form section in Canopy provides editable versions of IRS forms that can be printed and downloaded. Source forms auto-populate with information from client survey, but you can edit them. You are able to override information that the client has provided, which will update in real time. Heading back to work, here at the top you'll see a summary. This includes your due date, your progress, and any activity. Next is letters. And here you can add a letter by hitting create new letter. You'll select the client. You can, you can create one from scratch or select a template here. Once again, these templates live over here in the template section. I'll put a link here that will show you how to create custom letter templates. Moving on is client requests. Client requests work similarly to client requests in a workflow. You'll go ahead, hit new request. Then you can put a title here. Add a due date if you'd like. Add any reminders. And then add a description. When you're ready, hit send now. And your client request will be delivered via the client portal and an email. Here you can see the client request right here on the client portal. Next up, client survey. With the client survey, you can send this easy to fill out survey that will gather all of the information that you need securely. This information will auto populate into forms associated with the resolution case. You can either send it to your client or skip it and fill it out yourself. We'll go ahead and send it to our client. Once again, you're going to select who you would like to send it to. You can include a personalized message and hit send. Once your survey has been sent, you can always view it by clicking view survey here. You can add or edit any of the information you would like to. Resend with this button here or click survey options. We have collections and here you can see that for the service that we're offering, you can click on analytics, which is going to give you some helpful information on the collections process. You can add a step if you'd like to. You can always lock this resolution case. By doing so, it will prevent others from being able to make any changes to this resolution case. Finally is services, and here you can see you have the option to add or take away services as you go through. You'll notice as I click each one of these services on, it populates over here in our flow. You can remove it and add as necessary. Let me show you another feature that will help you on your tax resolution journey. Notices work similar to a task template and allow you to walk through various notices. To start a notice, go ahead and click on the global plus button and then click notice. 
Here you can see it's gonna help you create a workflow to manage and track your client's IRS notice. You can create the notice by putting in all of the valid information. You'll want to select a notice type, name it, choose who it's assigned to, select a due date. You can also add any budgeted hours and select a priority. Here you'll see a description has auto-populated based on the type of notice but you can always make changes and edit the formatting here. You can toggle this on and off to choose whether or not you want to include a tax preparation fields and then hit create and manage. Now you'll see you have a workflow that includes all of the subtasks associated with this type of notice, files in the next tab over, a spot where you can add notes, you can request transcripts and associated forms. If you want to come back to this, you'll notice that on the home page of your client record, all of the tasks are right here. You can go ahead and click on one of those tasks and it will take you back to this notice workflow. Finally, one more feature I want to point out is transcripts. You can initiate transcripts by clicking on files and then transcripts. You'll need to sign into the IRS right here. A few things you should know about transcripts. Everyone can use the same CAF number, but everyone does need to have their own license and set up their own integration. This will include their own ID.me account with the IRS. Also, it's important that you only request what you have access to because it's going to fail the entire poll if you don't have access to certain forms. If you would like to learn more about requesting a transcript, I'll link this article here that goes into more detail.